father, but it was through faith in, in, in his son. That was the way they was going to be brought back, acknowledging the Lord according to the Bible. Okay? But you had Jews that didn't want to receive the Lord. You also had Israelites that was living amongst other nations being Hellenized. Because when you look at that word uh, Gentile or Greek, it goes back to Hellen Hellenistas, which means to be Hellenized or Greek. Basically, it was Jews that spoke Greek and took on Greek customs. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. And the covenants. Now, the main thing uh, uh, that the Lord's going to establish when he comes is establishing a new covenant. Now, you know what the new covenant is? Get Hebrews 8 and 8. Let's read that real quick. And it's going to tell you it's only for Israel. All right? Well, uh, this is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day is come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The two kings, can you read it? Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, so when the Lord made the first covenant, with the children of Israel, that's when he gave them the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? But they couldn't keep it because he gave them stony hearts. He knew that they was going to rebel. That's why we're in this state now. Okay, that's why you got <laughs> Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on the bottom. All right, we should be the tail, and other nations should be the head. Keep it. But this new covenant is basically the same old covenant, but this time it's going to be established in our animal parts. Because they continue not in my covenant, yep. and I regarded them not, and, the, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them in their hearts. So it's, it's, it's still the same covenant. So the Lord never changed. He didn't, he didn't come to try to give it to these other nations. Because if you look at them, even though, like for an example, the so-called white man in society, he claimed he was Christian. They they got Bibles. The word is right there, but yet, what are they doing? They're doing everything contrary to the scriptures. They put up a, a fake image, okay? They come with a false doctrine. They make false uh, images and movies portraying the Lord that ain't even scriptural. False accusations. Those are, that's slander, and that's false accusation, and that's blasphemy, okay? So they're not about the Lord. The Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel. So, so the new covenant is for the children of Israel. Oh, uh, that's the, that's the, uh, the commandments that the Lord gave about the uh, dietary law. What foods you can eat and what foods you cannot eat. Did you know that? You can't eat uh, shrimp, crab, lobster. That's in the uh, scriptures in Leviticus. You want to get you some? Do you, eat, uh, do you eat pork? Like bacon? Somebody, you're not supposed to be eating that. It's uh, I guess well, you didn't know you did it out of ignorance, but now, now you know, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't partake in it. This is Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though it divideth the hoof and is clever foot, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and of their carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. We're not even supposed to touch it. But in society, if you like work and stuff like that, you have to touch it, you know what I'm saying? But if you can wear gloves, if wear If you can wear gloves, you wear gloves. But you're not supposed to eat that, because the swine, like fast food joints, I mean, you it, you can get away, like Chick-fil-A Chick and stuff like that, you can get away with that. But now we we come, in, our, we come into reality, they they, they, they just uh, brought our news that they feed, they feed uh, horse meat. You think it's chicken, but it's, it's horse meat. No, nah, like they that. substitute horsemen with beef. Yeah, and pink slime, you heard about that? That's like, uh, you know... Basically, it's the scraps of uh, that's left over from the animal, like cartilage, spine and shit. Yeah. And they grind that up and they throw ammonia on it, and then they dye it with pink, pink stuff, all right? And then they mash it up into like a tube, like ground beef, yeah. and they sell it to these fast food restaurants. So really, you're not even eating stuff that... Uh, that wouldn't even be dog food. Nah, but the scriptures tell you get get it where you go. Uh, eat our food or foul, but you gotta do you gotta have it. You gotta do it to your best ability. So you gotta. Uh, it tell uh, you can eat. It tell you to, uh, we'll get it back. Fruits and vegetables. You can eat chicken. You can eat beef, lamb, stuff like that. Like it's like meats you wanna eat. 
chicken, beef, lamb, no pork, no crabs, no shrimps, no lobsters. And basically, that's, that's, that's like bottom feeders. They eat the uh, shit of, of the ocean. Basically, that's what a pig is. They, a pig will eat anything. That's why they fed like chitlins and stuff like that in the slavery. That's why they fed us that bullshit because they knew that we was the Israelites. And that that would destroy us. And that would and it's and it and it, it caused health, it caused health issues when you eat that, especially pork because it has worms, parasites in it. Yep. This is uh even, even when you cook, cook it. Yeah. It shows people got on YouTube, man. You pour like Coke or Coca Cola on it raw, you see worms coming out. It's, and our people love saying if you cook it, like cook it, cook it, cook it. Nah, it's still it's still defiled, man. It's the most I say it's defiled. And it's videos of people getting like big ass tapeworms and shit pulled out of their intestines and even out of their brains from eating pork. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if the most I say so, it's, it's for a reason. This is Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Now that Gentiles right there is talking about the other nations. Yeah, you got to go back to the Hebrew and the Greek to understand that. We're not just pulling stuff out, stuff out our ass. We know what we're talking about. So if it, if it say Gentile right there, my brother say it go back to the other nations. We know that because we researched it. We're not talking out our ass. Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So that's a prophecy, you know? So that's happening right now. So we eat our foul, so you can go to Chick fil A, especially McDonald's. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the foul as hell, man. You shouldn't eat McDonald's. Don't man. even eat McDonald's. McDonald's, anything, because shit, they're fucking. You know, sorry, because I get upset, man. What's the word fuck means? It's an acronym. All right, it means fornic. It, it was an acronym standing for fornication under the consent of the king. That's what it means. And it comes from a German word, which means to strike. So it's not a bad word, even though people perceive it as a bad word. But like I was saying about McDonald's, like they chicken nuggets, they came out saying that they use putty, all right? Adhesive material to adhesive their chicken nuggets. So you're actually you're probably eating like putty or fucking plastic or some shit. Taco Bell use uh, fake beef. They don't even use real meat. That's that's just, I wouldn't even eat Taco Bell and say that. Like if you want to make tacos and all that stuff, Make it yourself, man. Yeah, really, just make it, cook your own food, but eat organic if you can, but I know that's different. That shit is expensive. Water, water, yeah, yeah, water good for you. You can drink wine, too. According to the scripture, you can drink wine and a uh, strong drink. I don't drink, but you can drink strong drink, liquor, wine, and stuff like that. I'm just happy. Yeah, water's perfect. Water's good. Because not your body's 80% uh, water. Yep. So, yeah, you drink a lot of water. This is a uh, Hosea 9 and, and 3. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, I'm talking about the children of Israel, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean thing, unclean things in Assyria. Yep. Okay. Because America right, also follows the ways of Assyria. Alright? So that's talking about here in America. Okay, as well as Egypt. Because they say they should go back into Egypt and slavery. Alright, and they're gonna eat the foul bread amongst basically America or anywhere outside of America because our people eat all types of shit, man. Yeah, but the people, our people like in South America and stuff like that, yeah. they have the benefit of the doubt to get fresh fruits and vegetables because it's, not it's, it's more plentiful down there. You can, you can, they, have, they have more options to eat uh, better food, but uh, us living in America, we got to eat pesticide. They spray, they spray the uh, fruits and vegetables with pesticides and that fuck with your body too. But you gotta, do, you gotta do everything to see your best ability. The most, if you, the most high with you, if God is with you, you're here to take care of you. That's right. And, and, the, and God talked about the herbs. He said the herbs are the healing for the nations. So if you like take herbs, substitute all the garbage, because you're not really getting no nutrients from the food that we eat. So if you take herbs like dandelion tea, uh, burdock tea, and stuff like that, it substitutes, it gives you the nutrients that your body needs. And that's in the found in the scriptures talking about herbs. Build up your body. Yeah. Okay, back to uh, salads. Yeah, Sal yeah salads. Salads good for you. Good fiber. Stay away from uh, iceberg. Iceberg is just that's, yeah, that's it, cut, it, it cuts up your intestines. Iceberg is like that white, crunchy uh, lettuce. Oh, the fake stuff that they give yeah. you like at at restaurants. Get that in the scriptures, the herbs, and, uh, Genesis, and the fruits. 
Christmas. This is good. Uh, 